bridges were built to provide safe passage for people, but the ones we're about to show you seem hell-bent on taking drivers and pedestrians to the other side, if you know what I mean. What the f***? Brace yourself for some adrenaline-pumping adventure as we cross the 11 scariest bridges in the world! What's up, Fagnatics? This is Discovery Amuse serving up your daily dose of the most outrageous, outlandish, and out-of-this-world fun facts! Watch out for our number one pick because that will turn your legs to jelly! Alright, bring it on! Number 11. The Tim River Bridge. You'll definitely need all the courage you can muster if you're attempting to cross this rickety six foot wide bridge in Siberia. The Vitim River Bridge in Siberia is a precarious 1,870 foot long structure that's basically made of decaying wooden planks. This is a car bridge from the old days. They totally neglected it, especially since they built the railway bridge next to it. Some sections have gaping holes, which are fixed by the drivers along the way to get through. Basically, what this old metal structure lacks, drivers make up for with nerves of steel. Yeah, you have to inspect the bridge closely, to see where the new holes are, for instance. Frequent snow and ice can also make the planks very slippery, and the absence of railings or barriers can easily send cars diving into the icy Vidim River about 50 feet below. This structure was built in the 1980s supposedly as part of the Baikal Amur Mainline Railway. The project was never finished and now locals from the Kuanda village have been using it to cross into the mainland. Surprisingly, no accidents or fatalities have been recorded so far. Does that make me any less scared? Not by a long shot! Keep watching because our top pick is reserved only for the bravest souls. Are you one of them? Number 10. Husseini Hanging Bridge if a bridge has become a thrill seekers tourist attraction, then you know you're in for a wild ride. Heck, even locals are too scared to cross this bad boy. And what, are you scared of the bridge? I'm scared of the height. <laughs> Often described as one of the most dangerous bridges in the world, the Husseini Bridge in northern Pakistan is merely hanging by a thread. It is mostly used by people living in the Gilgit Baltistan region who would rather risk life and limb on these suspended wooden planks that go over the Hunza River than go around the mountain. I mean, just look at those gaps that are wider than Woody Harrelson's front teeth. My heart is like a helicopter right now. Or so? Oh my god, it rocks so much. Whoa, minding the gap has never been this life-threatening. But surprisingly, this bridge is apparently an improvement compared to the older one it replaced, which now hangs in tatters nearby. Number 9. Keshwachaka Woven Bridge. Considered as the last Inca bridge and the last hand-woven bridge in the world, the Keswacha in Peru has been rebuilt over and over again for the past 600 centuries. Los Apos nos ha dicho que cada año para cambiar para que se ve bonito, brillante como puente de oro. Back in the day, these pathways were quickly cut down to prevent invaders from reaching the Incan communities. The Keswacha hangs at 124 feet long and is placed about 60 feet over the Apurimac River. Locals braid small, thin ropes to make the bridge, which is intertwined into bigger support cables. The communities from both sides of the river work together to complete the structure, pulling the ropes, stretching them out, and weaving the sides. Typically, it takes the builders three days to finish the bridge. Ese puente es natural. Ahí no utilizamos ni clavo ni cemento, ningún clase de máquina. Así jalando nomás con la mano, nomás amarramos. Once the bridge is completed, the locals come together to celebrate its successful reconstruction with traditional songs and dances. Number eight, Aya Kazurabashi Bridge. From a bridge made of ropes, we head over to a bridge that's entirely made of vines. Tarzan feels very attacked. Whatever happens, do not interfere. Understand? 
the Ayakazurabashi Bridge in Shikoku, which dates back to the year 1180, is the largest of the three remaining vine bridges all over Japan, and it is rebuilt every three years. Just like Kejwachaka, the bridge was also built so that it could easily be cut down to evade enemies. Made from a hardy kiwi plant, the bridge is around 148 feet long and six and a half feet wide. Its updated structure now includes steel cables hidden within the vines to provide additional safety for tourists and locals. And it ain't cheap to cross, too. 500 yen uh, to basically uh, give myself a fear of falling into a river. Sounds like fun. Let's do it. Because the bridge creaks and sways with every step, it's no wonder these people are holding on for dear life. Oh, and it's also called the Bridge of No Return, since it can only be crossed in one direction. Number seven. Ashima Ohashi Bridge. Gotta hand it to the Japanese for being master builders of blood curdling bridges. From a particular angle, this bridge almost seems to defy the laws of gravity. It's time to try defying gravity. Oh, Elphaba will surely have a wicked good time traversing the Ashima Ohashi Bridge, dubbed as the Roller Coaster Bridge for its crazy steep incline. The steep part of this bridge, which connects the prefectures of Shimane and Totori, has a sharp gradient of 6.1%, which means the road elevation changes 6 feet for every 100 feet of horizontal distance to allow ships to pass underneath it. While it's totally safe and passable, the vertical incline can still be daunting for drivers, who might be taken aback by the illusion that they're about to drive over a cliff and plummet into the sea below. Number 6. Puente de Ojuela Just looking at the aerial shot of this bridge is enough to trigger my vertigo. Get up and look, goddammit! Who cares, man? We're gonna die here anyway! The Puente de Ojuela Suspension Bridge, located in Durango, Mexico, was designed by the same people who were behind the Brooklyn Bridge. It's about 1,000 feet long and has a height of 327 feet and was constructed in 1898 over a ravine to transport precious metals and minerals. Over the years, the bridge fell into neglect and both the Ojuela town and the mines are now abandoned. The only people who pass this bridge are locals and adventure seekers who enjoy the thrill of walking through perilous paths surrounded by jagged cliffs. Oh, and there's this lady who likes to go for leisurely walks 300 feet above the sea. For me, this place is magical. More than anything, it's a tranquility that if you listen to I don't know about you, but this is the last place I'd go for some soul searching. Number five, Titlis Cliff Walk. Ever wondered how the Night's Watch in Game of Thrones felt while guarding the snow covered wall? Well, this is probably the closest thing you'll get to living your Jon Snow and Egret fantasy. Ugh, get a room already! Considered to be Europe's highest suspension bridge, the Titlis Cliff Walk in the Swiss Alps obviously isn't for the faint of heart. Hanging at an altitude of almost 10,000 feet above sea level, this bridge will send literal chills down your spine. But if you're up for the challenge, you'll be rewarded with the most breathtaking views of the Alps. When it was opened in 2012, a huge snowstorm reduced the bridge's visibility, giving its first ever visitors a nerve-wracking adventure. Adventure. However, its builders assure the public that the bridge is 100% safe and designed to withstand extreme winds and snowfall, with much of the construction and cable transportation completed through helicopters. Number 4. Hanging Bridge of Gaza This narrow hanging bridge in Nepal stretches at a great height above a river valley in Gaza and is prone to swaying due to wind gusts. And did I mention that animals cross this bridge too? So don't be surprised if you find yourself jostled against the railings to make way for cattle that serve as the primary source of livelihood for the locals. Some cattle owners put blinders on the animals to prevent them from getting distracted by the views and to keep them calm while crossing the bridge. As for the humans who are brave enough to embark on this path, a rewarding view of the Himalayas will mesmerize you in the middle of the bridge. Number 3. Karakaredi Rope Bridge 
This 65-foot-long rope bridge connects Carrick Island to the mainland of Northern Ireland and is suspended 98 feet over swirling waves that crash against the massive rocks, looking like a special preview of what might happen to the unlucky souls who fall off. Luckily, no souls have been claimed since it was first erected by salmon fishermen in 1775. The current rope bridge is one of the many reincarnations of the old one used by fishermen for hundreds of years to reach the secluded and salmon-rich waters of this island. The current design is much safer thanks to steel wires that help support its structure, but there are still people who discover along the way that they can't handle the bridge and choose to be ferried by boat instead. Why yeah, so man. weak? So weak. Number two, Overtune Bridge. This particular bridge has gained notoriety not because of its unstable structure or steep incline, but because of the paranormal events that allegedly occurred here. There are no dogs leaping in huge volumes off any other bridge. It's just this one bridge. Yeah. It's inexplicable. The haunted 19th century Overtune Bridge in Scotland has earned the nickname Dog Suicide Bridge because a lot of the pooches that passed here suddenly acted crazy and leapt to their deaths. The canine suicides began in the 1950s, with the dogs reportedly jumping from the exact same spot. Some locals believe that the bridge is haunted by the White Lady of Overtune, who triggers the death frenzy. Another local story involves a 32-year-old father who threw his own baby from the same spot where the dogs jump. People say this might have had a supernatural effect on the crossing hounds, and reports say over 50 dogs have already died here. The dog comes up from the center of the bridge itself, right up here, and then just leaps like an extraordinary high leap, just right over. In 2010, animal behaviorist David Sands investigated these unusual incidents. He said that it's likely that the dogs could smell the wild creatures running below the bridge, triggering them to jump. The structure's tapered edges also make it look flat from a canine's point of view, which might be giving them a false sense of safety. So basically, they're going from level ground to a 60-foot drop, and it's only when they get to the other side that they realize what's happened to them. Before we go to our number one pick, do us a solid and make sure to smash the subscribe button and hit the notification bell. Don't forget to choose all so you won't miss out on any of our latest life-changing, boredom-busting content. And of course, be sure to turn on notifications in your app settings. Number one, Chinese glass bridges. Apparently, the Chinese have a penchant for glass-bottomed bridges. And not just any glass-bottomed bridge at that, because they have some of the most badass bridges that dial up the fear factor to insane heights. In 2017, they completed the longest glass-paneled footbridge in the world, the Hanyagu Glass Footbridge. The bridge is over 1,600 feet long, and the only thing preventing you from a vertical drop of 715 feet are 1,077 glass panels that are about 1.6 inches thick. But if you think this bridge is for wimps, then I suggest you head on over to the East Taihan Glass Walk, where even grown men and women scamper like little babies. <laughs> the 3,800 feet tall glass walk attached to eastern China's towering mountains makes tourists jump out of their skin with its nerve-wracking glass-cracking effect. The cracks disappear after a few seconds, but it's time enough to produce some serious panic attacks and hundreds of hysterical reaction vids. <laughs> So, which of these bridges would you be willing to cross? Let us know in the comments section below. Take home any of our exclusive gear by browsing our merch shelf or clicking the link in the video description. And while you're at it, take our quiz to find out how you can earn extra cash online doing what you do best. Awesome, right? From the wackiest bridges to the weirdest nests, we got them all covered. 
So check out our ranking of the 10 coolest houses in the world. Till then, don't burn bridges, Fatnatics, and see you in the next video.